What's up guys, I've got a LiPo bag full of bad batteries for one reason or another, and I'll bet you, you thought you've been getting rid of your batteries the right way, but you're wrong. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's hanging out with Abby and Popeye's back at the house because we're still out here at the hill doing hill climb challenge videos. We're the RC Sailors, welcome to our RC family. I've got some LiPo batteries. All of these are different kinds of LiPos in one way or another, or just rechargeable batteries. And I have been seeing just a ton of people online and in person telling people the wrong advice or demonstrating the wrong advice on how to get rid of your LiPo batteries. So you've got a LiPo and maybe it has an error reading or it's swelling. For some reason, it's a bad battery and I'm gonna show you some examples of that in this video. How do you properly get rid of your batteries? I have seen people, believe it or not, some of these are going to surprise you. I've heard of some people and I've seen them taking a nail and stabbing it through the lipo saying, well, that's safe now, it's dead. You just put it in a bucket of sand at that point forever and you're good to go. I would not advise stabbing a nail through an electric battery the, the bucket of sand comes in handy at events. I have seen people, this is gonna blow your mind, take some puff batteries, some low voltage batteries, whatever, put them in a big pile at like a bonfire, like this little thing here, and make a bonfire out of their LiPo batteries. Horrible for the environment, extremely dangerous. Do not ever intentionally catch your battery on fire for any reason, no matter what. I've also seen People say that it's okay to throw these away in the trash. I don't know what part of the world you live in. Don't do that. That's extremely dangerous. Even if it's completely discharged, it's very dangerous for the guys that pick up the trash. And who knows how long it could sit out in the heat in the trash. When they put it in the truck, it could compact it in the truck. It could explode, catch on fire. When it goes to the landfill, they compact, they compact it. It could explode, catch on fire. So we're gonna show you the best way, the proper way to dispose of your batteries. What I have here, bunch of batteries, all bad. This is a very used and abused LiPo alarm. Uh, I just, I use them until they completely die. The eighth prong is bent on that. But this will be linked in the description box below. If you use a LiPo battery for planes, for drones, for race drones, for trucks, for cars, for your nitro planes, your glow planes that you also have battery in there, you need a LiPo alarm. This is a LiPo checker and an alarm. It's a very useful tool. You need one of these, okay? I'll link it in the description box below. So let's take a look. This one, just by looking at it, other than the fact that I wrote cell low voltage on it, you'd have no idea there's anything wrong with it. But when you plug it, I wrote that on there so I didn't get it confused. When you plug it in, but we're getting an alarm, right? I cover up the speakers because it's so loud. Uh, that is telling us that the first cell has an error. When you're starting to get errors, there's a couple things guys like to try to do in this hobby. And when they start to notice one cell getting lower than the others, past the point that it's safe, some guys will take their battery, plug it into their LiPo charger, their nice battery charger, and set it on nickel metal hydride and try to juice all the cells up enough to get the lowest one above the low point and then set it to LiPo balance or LiPo discharge or LiPo charge. And uh, it does work sometimes, you shouldn't do it, but it does, it does work. In this case, they're getting an error on one of the Potentially cells. dangerous to Very do that, Very potentially right? dangerous and don't do that. Could burn don't your house do it. down. Yeah, just don't do it. I just, I tested it a couple years ago to see if in theory it did work, it does, can, but don't do it. But I'm telling you that that's what some guys will do when they see that, a low voltage. So there's that example. This battery is Abby's big phone charging battery. I, I love that battery, but I dropped it. I dropped it and it just killed it. Yes, and so because it's such a big battery, this is all battery in a shell, safe to just get rid of it. We're gonna show you how to do that. All these batteries have different things wrong with them and I wanted to show you, and, and the way I can tell on all of them, except for one, is this awesome tool. So this is a four cell LiPo. It's telling us our total voltage, cell one is at 1.63 volts. The rest are higher, that's at two. Cell one was at 1.63 volts, which is very dangerously low in comparison to the others. And this is an, a better example than the error. This one is where guys might try to juice up all the cells together to get that one low one really high on a nickel metal hydride charge. Not worth keeping around. Now all these batteries, this is something else you need to invest in. What happens is, I know I have a bad battery, boom it goes in here. Until I get to the, what I'm going to show you in this video. Which ultimately is just a recycle place, okay, so there's no big giant secret. But 
When you're storing your batteries, even if they're healthy batteries, but especially if they're not, put them in a LiPo safety storage bag or a charge bag. I'll link one of these in the description box below. If it would happen to catch on fire, then you're gonna be safer in one of these than not in one of these. So this battery has another, this is a great battery. I love Venom batteries. They're very good That's batteries. That's an older battery. This is like six or seven years old. I plug it in. What are we getting on here? I think it's an error if I remember right. Two, see, there. Uh, cell two or three it was, had an error. Just an error, time to get rid of it, it's so old. This one, you can see, starting to puff. You see that kind of little bit of puffing going on? And this one is still looks nice and flat like a brick. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can feel it. You can feel it, it's squishy. Yeah. That's actually not the problem. The problem with this one is my balance lead came undone. And I've decided I'm not gonna put the effort forward in uh, repairing that because this one is getting old and it's getting puffed time for it to be thrown away too. This one, very dangerous looking. That's a hard shell LiPo. Can you see the puff on there? Can you see that curvature? Yeah. That's a hard case around that. Not good. It's okay, good. that's a cheap off-brand battery that came with one of our overseas China trucks. And I think when I plug it in, I get some kind of error too, or a low voltage alarm going off, something. Yeah, cell two has an error, plus it's puffing. So. All these batteries have issues. There are a lot of reasons your batteries can have issues, but one of the best ways to monitor that is this little $2 investment. If you're in the hobby and you do not own one of these, today is the day, don't put it off any longer, and just get one of these too. I will link this, which you have to have, at least one, but I'll probably put like a five pack down there because they're really good to have in your mobile toolbox, at your home, in your car. You can keep one of these in your car. Everywhere you go with RC stuff, boom, bring one of those. Don't do RCs without it, and same goes with this. This is a safety. This is to monitor your stuff, your LiPo alarm. This is just a safety net for all other times. So we're gonna go to a battery terminal, right? That's the name of a store. You can buy lawnmower batteries, car batteries, things there, and uh, sometimes they'll juice your batteries up for you. But I went in a couple months ago when I saw some of these crazy people doing crazy things with their LiPo batteries, and I asked, do you guys, do you recycle these batteries? Just wanted to know for sure do they do lipos they said yes now we're not going to pay you for it and i said oh no 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 i just wanted to know if you recycle them so we're going to go down to a battery terminal store and recycle these batteries the main reason is safety not just for us but for anyone else involved with these after they leave our hands what would some people say a landfill i just couldn't believe that so uh let's go So I'm just leaving the battery terminal store and as it turns out, that is not a chain. I, I talked to the guys for a minute. I asked if they wanted to be on camera, but they said only a little quick little wave there. But I was talking to them and I told them what I was doing and how, how people have disposed of their batteries. And I wish I got their reaction because when I told them, some people made like bonfires out of them. They all got a kick out of that and laughed and said, no way, you're making that up. And then I, I said, you know, I've seen people stab a nail through. And they, they whoa, I mean, their reaction was, so priceless and it was they said that was even more dangerous than the whole fire thing so the main thing is and, and even the guy in there that was like the i think he was the manager or owner what they say about throwing them away oh they that is a big big no they said do not do that so if you live in america or really anywhere in the world do not throw your lipos away for any reason and they work in the battery terminal. All they do is batteries all the time, lipos, lead, all kinds of batteries. They, I, I just so wish I had the camera on. They just didn't want to be on camera, but their reaction to everything that I told them was so over the top. They laughed and like they'd never heard of that stuff before. Woo! Anyway, recycle your batteries. Look at this. Would you guys drive that? <laughs> so what do they do with batteries? Okay, so they take theirs to an EPA disposal factory. They ship them there. Uh, so, I don't know, that's what he said. Uh, they, they properly drain them and tear them apart piece by piece and recycle them at a recycling plant. So, if you live close to one of those plants, they'll probably take them. They said they don't give you money for your RC lipos. They actually used to sell them there, but they don't do that anymore uh, because a lot of people have poor battery maintenance. And, um, 
maybe even some maybe even some like hobby town usa is there a million back there maybe hobby town i don't know the main thing go around to your local stores maybe even walmart you know some of the ones that have the automotive center and just ask if they recycle batteries and that's what you need to do with your ba your batteries recycle them and if there's anything i can leave you guys with before the end of this video share this video with a friend a family member all of your friends more family members <laughs> Share this video with a friend or a family member, any human being that you know that is in the RC hobby. Let them know the best way to get rid of their batteries. Seriously, this needs to get shared around with everybody. Recycle your batteries. That is the point of this. If you think there's any reason that you need to get rid of your battery, recycle it. Don't do anything else. Don't try to get rid of it on your own. Don't throw it away. Recycle it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!